You may have seen the previous video where we discussed the possibility of using stem cells for the treatment of type 2 diabetes. Today we're going to go into more detail about how bone marrow stem cells can make cells that produce insulin. We're going to talk about a publication, Tang et al. was in the journal Diabetes, which basically took bone marrow cells, cultured them, and made cells that appear to be similar to beta cells. What the scientists did specifically was they put the cells in concentrations of high glucose. As you can see in this figure, the bone marrow cells on up to day 7, they start sticking to the bottom. The ones that stick are called mesenchymal stem cells. Now, when you culture them longer in glucose and you add nicotinamide, you, uh, which is an agent that is in, known to assist in pancreatic regeneration, you can see cells that look like pancreatic islets. Now, when you look at the phenotype of these cells, they don't have CD40 or CD34, implying that they are non-hematopoietic. But when you look at the genes expressed, these cells express different genes specific to the pancreas, such as PDX1, uh, insulin, glucose transporters, and so on. Now the question is, do these cells actually produce insulin in vivo? So mice were taken and their pancreases were destroyed by administration of streptozoacin. As you can see on the y-axis, glucose concentration rises after destruction of the islets. This is what it says on the x-axis, day minus 20, minus 12. And day zero is when the differentiated bone marrow cells were implanted under the kidney capsule. And as you can see in the treated mice, there is a reduction in glucose level, but not in the control treated mice. Now, these mice, they seem to be non-diabetic, but is the, is the insulin controlled by glucose? So what was done in these mice was a glucose challenge. Glucose was administered systemically in the mouse, and then the levels of glucose in the blood were measured. And you can, as you can see, the mice which were, which were given control cells, their glucose levels are way higher, significantly higher, than control mice. Well, I mean, then the treated mice which received the bone marrow derived cells. So, this is one of several in vivo studies in animals showing that bone marrow cells can become pancreatic like cells because we don't know exactly if they are the same as a pancreatic cell, but we do see that they produce insulin and that they are regulated by glucose. 